It was meant to be a moment to honor those who fell victim to the coronavirus pandemic. Before Super Bowl 55, a pre-recorded message played in which President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden recognized those who have lost their lives to COVID-19. The president said, So please join us, the Kansas City Chiefs, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and the National Football League in a moment of silence for the more than 440,000 Americans who lost their lives in this pandemic and for their loved ones who are left behind. But instead of the silence, there were those who thought they heard both boos and jeers coming from parts of the crowd. One social media user tweeted, Was that a boo I hear from the crowd when Biden asked for us to have a moment of silence for a 400,000 plus loss due to the COVID-19? Wow, that speaks volumes. Another social media user appeared to confirm that the boos had taken place, posting, So the Bidens were booed and given the finger by Super Bowl fans during a pregame video. Apparently, Dr. Jill is president because she did most of the talking. Wow, that speaks volumes. Everyone knows. But just as there were critics, there were also Biden supporters. I know, right? Who saw that coming? One who also responded to the boo comment tweeted, I didn't watch the Super Bowl, but I read several ignoramuses booed the Bidens after they asked for one stinking moment of silence to commemorate the COVID victims nationally. Since the bowl took place in Trumpland, Florida, no surprise there. Red supporters have no couth at all. Another social media user was dismissive of those who might have begun the booing. The poster instead chose to hit out at those who would have disrespected the memories of those who died of COVID-19. The poster wrote, What a disgrace that Bidens were booed for asking for a moment of silence at the Super Bowl last night to remember 450,000 dead Americans. Half of this country are cruel, selfish, deplorable people. We have zero moral standing left. In reporting the possible booing incident, The Independent said it had reached out to the NFL for a comment, but they did not respond. Because no one could be 100% sure if the boos happened, whether they were directed at the president and first lady, or whether the crowds were restive because they wanted the kickoff to happen, fact-checking site Snopes decided to do a bit of multimedia investigating to determine whether the boos and jeers really happened, or whether the whole thing was a massive misunderstanding. Their verdict? Unproven. The site claims that it was conceivable that among those who had gathered at the stadium to watch the game, there could have been those who had wanted to, and acted on, the impulse to boo the president, but that there was no way to confirm or deny that the incident occurred at this time. Unless you listen to the crowd after Biden is done talking, but boos and jeers can be subjective at best. What is undeniable is that while the number of fans who were allowed to watch Sunday's game live was limited, the stadium crowd size was still at 22,000, a third, or about 7,500 of whom were vaccinated healthcare workers. Most of the seats were filled with cardboard cutouts which sold for $100 each. It was also enough to lead new CDC head Rochelle Walensky to say, I'm worried about Super Bowl Sunday, quite honestly. People gather, they watch games together, we've seen outbreaks already from football parties. So I really do think that we need to watch this and be careful. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about politics are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.